Hello and welcome to CCA Code Academy. I'm Mitchell and today I'll be showing you how to install CodeBlocks on Linux as well as how to use it to write, compile, and run your first C++ program. So let's get to it. Depending on your distribution of Linux, this will be a little bit different, but just go wherever it is that you launch applications from and you'll just want to find the application terminal and open it. Now that we are in terminal, you're just going to want to type the command sudo apt update. Once you do that, it'll prompt you for your password. What this is doing is sudo basically makes you a super user, which is essentially an administrator. And then apt update updates your package lists. So what that means is this isn't actually updating any programs on our computer. It's just updating the way that we get programs. So now when we install code blocks, we'll know that we're getting the most up-to-date version of it. So once again, we'll type sudo, then apt get uh, install code blocks. So sudo apt dash get install code blocks. Hit enter and then it'll prompt us if we want to continue. Hit Y for yes and then press enter. Then it'll just go through installing code blocks which typically that should happen pretty quickly. It's not you know really <laughs> a huge program. And there we go. So now it's installed. So we'll just close out of terminal. We can go to our applications and here is code blocks. When we open this up for the first time, it'll ask us what compiler we want to use. I have two compilers installed. Um, you probably just have this one, the GNU GCC compiler. I have Clang installed and I like that, so I'll use that. Um, but it, this doesn't really matter. So just, uh, just hit OK. So now to create our first project, we can go right here to where it says create a new project or um, you can also go up to File, New, and then Project to make a new project. We're going to want to make a console application. So hit that, and then press Go. Then it'll just take us through a nifty little wizard to help us set up our project. Just go to Next. We want to compile C++, not C, so we'll keep it on C++. Hit Next. Now we just want to make our project. So this is going to be the name of our project folder. So hello world. And then we just need to select where we want that to be saved. So we'll just go to the folder. All right, so we'll just create that in here. Press open. All right, so now we are going to create the hello world um, folder within this path. I'll just hit next. And we'll just keep all these default settings as is. We like those. So now, as you can see, CodeBlocks has gone ahead and it's made us our source file. We don't even have to type it. So now, just to make sure everything is working, we can go up here to this button and that will build. So basically, it'll compile our program from this source file as well as it'll run it. So just hit that. And there we go. It outputted Hello World just like it was supposed to, and that is the whole program. So that is how to install, compile, and run your very first C++ program. Um, if you want to know actually how this code works and how to write C++, I'm actually working on an entire series that will show you from beginning to end, assuming no programming knowledge, how to program in C++. It should also give you a little bit of uh, computer science background as well. Um, it won't just be strictly me sitting at the computer and typing and just telling you to copy and paste this code. I'll actually, you know, teach you some theory, teach you some things of how to write good code and be a good programmer. Um, that video series is currently being worked on. By the time that you're watching this video, hopefully, you know, I've gotten pretty far along on it or maybe it'll even be done. Um, but there will be links to that as well as other goodies down in the description of this video. Um, so until next time, uh, have fun coding.